Hello, I'm Carlet Trident Fly Fishing. Today we're gonna to tie the little brown trout. This was originated by Samuel Slaymaker of Gap, Pennsylvania in the late 1950s. And it's part of a series of three streamers he designed to imitate trout fry. Now the other two flies are the little brook trout and the little rainbow trout. So it's recommended you tie these flies in sizes two through 12. This is a Daiichi 2220 in size eight. It's a four extra long. We're gonna use two different threads today. We're gonna to start off with white, get our tie started a couple of eye lengths behind the hook eye, wrap back to the bend of the hook. And the tail for this fly is gonna be a breast feather from a ring neck pheasant. And we're gonna prepare this by pulling away material we don't need. And an odd thing about this tail, at least my understanding of the way it's done, is we're going to cut the center of the tail out. There we go. Left a couple of little pieces. So it looks like that. And we don't need all of this material, so some back. That looks about right. So it's going to be just a little bit longer than the gap of the hook. I'm going to tie that in on top. A little bit long. Pull that up. Looks pretty good. run our thread back up to our initial tie-in point. We're going to tie in our rib material. Our rib is uh, Uni Mylar. This is a size 14 and the color is silver gold. And we want the gold side to show, so we're going to tie it in with the silver side out. And our material clip. And the body of the fly is just some white yarn. So I raided my wife's knitting basket and stole some white yarn out. This is four ply. That's more than we need. So I've peeled it back to some two ply yarn. We'll run our thread back up to our initial tie in point. We'll tie that in right here at our initial tie-in point and wrap back. It compresses really easy. And we'll just wrap this forward. And as we start to get up towards the end, we'll overlap the wraps just a little bit to give it a bit of a tapered appearance. Cut off our excess. Now the rib. And get rid of our excess there. At this point, we're going to change over to black thread. We want the head of this flak fly to be black. We are going to tie in some Danville's six aught in black. And our wing for this fly is going to be made up of three different colors of bucktail and some squirrel, gray squirrel. So the first color that's going to go in is going to be some yellow bucktail. I want this to be fairly sparse. That looks about right. So I'm going to have this go back just past the tail of the hook. I'm going to tie that in.
And the next colors are going to be mixed. It's going to be some red and some orange. But about the same amount. We want it really sparse. After this, we still have one more material to tie in. So we're going to take these two colors and we're just going to kind of roll them around on our fingers to mix them up. And we're going to lay these in right on top of the yellow ones. Get rid of our excess material. And our last material is going to be from a gray squirrel. And we're looking for some of the white tips and some of the tan. Again, sparse is best. And we want this to be the same length as the other wing materials. Tie that in. Tight turns with this squirrel. It's a really slippery material. And we'll cut off our excess. Our thread to the eye and start wrapping back. Cover all the material. And you're satisfied with the shape of the head. All the material is covered. We'll take out our whip finish tool. Four or five turn whip finish. Seat or not. Cut the thread and add some head cement. And our fly is finished. Please feel free to add comments at the bottom of the page and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to view all the new content here at Trident Fly Fishing. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again next time.